One of Netflix's hit thriller series, Welcome to Eden, just got greenlit for season two. So what could we expect this time around? You're in luck, because we'll be sharing with you in today's video. Welcome to Eden season two's release date, as well as everything we know and what to expect in the series. So make sure you keep watching if you want to know more. Just a word of caution, but from here on out, this contains major spoilers from the series. Welcome to Eden season two's release date is announced. What we know and and what to expect in the upcoming series. For starters, Netflix already announced Welcome to Eden's second season. Netflix has confirmed the release of Welcome to Eden season two after the first season of the Spanish thriller held audiences attention when it debuted in May 2022. For those who are unfamiliar, the story revolves around a group of teens who are invited to an exclusive party of a lifetime on a distant paradise island for the debut of a new drink company. However, things quickly change when the teenagers learn that a violent game was being played and that they are all caught inside of it with potentially fatal results. The first season of this binge-worthy show has left us some very nerve-wracking cliffhangers, leaving fans clamoring for more. But will the narrative be continued in any way? Here's all the information you need about Welcome to Eden Season 2. On to the next big question. When is Welcome to Eden Season 2's premiere date? As previously reported, the second season of Welcome to Eden will premiere on Netflix at the end of May 2022. In fact, by August, actress Amaya Abrastori was among those rejoicing that filming had been finished, so it ought to be arriving to us shortly. That's right, since May, the cast has been quietly working on filming in Teruel, Barcelona, and Lanzarote long before it was even officially stated that the show would return. She posted a picture of herself and Almudina Traver sitting outside their trailer and captioned it on Instagram. Ending of shooting of hashtag Eden2. Thank you team for these three months. You are hard eyes. Oh, already looking forward to seeing the result and sharing it with you. The post-production stage, which might run anywhere from six months to a year, is underway. You may have to wait until May 2023, since we estimate that the new episode will air around the same time as season one premiered, which was in May. But we sincerely hope that we are wrong. Now for the follow-up question, who are the cast members who will be returning for season two. Netflix also announced that all the big players will be back in action in season two. Be prepared to see Amaya Abarastori as Zoa, Amaya Salamanca as Astrid, Belinda Peregrine as Africa, Begonia Vargas as Belle, Diego Garisa as Ibon, Tommy Aguilera as Charlie, and Berta Castañe as Gabby return. Max Sampietro as Isaac, Lola Rodriguez as Meka, Guillermo Fenning as Eric, Sergio Momo as Nico, Irene Dev as Alma, Joan Pad Drola as Orson and Carlos Saroa as Eloy all make their season two comebacks as well. The production crew revealed that there would be some new cast members in addition to the majority. The Eden Foundation will welcome Nona Sobo of Atrevias and Carlos Torres of the Queen of Flow even if their roles are still being kept under wraps. So what will happen now in the second season of Welcome to Eden? The tension-filled season one finale saw the rise of the rebellions, with fans watching as Zoa and Charlie attempted to flee the island while using the entrance of the new recruits as a cover. Naturally, the new youngsters had no idea what they were about to get themselves into, just like Zoa and her friends had before them. Zoa was apprehended by Ulysses and attacked as retaliation for trying to flee, just as Charlie had successfully made it onto the boat. Fortunately, Ibon intervened to save Zoa, and during the struggle, he killed Ulysses. It begs the issue of how Ulysses' passing will influence Ibon on the upcoming season and how this character will now be developed. He was visibly disturbed by the incident, which was utterly out of character for him. In the meantime, Africa discovered a technologically advanced hidden area in Astrid and Eric's house. After hitting a button on one of the panels, she unintentionally launched a satellite and sent a signal into orbit. Alarms began to go off, and the doors closed, locking Africa within. Season 1 finished with a surprise conclusion, and was chock full of shocking revelations and tension. Zoa saw her sister Gabby walking towards the island just as she was about to get on the boat that would carry her to freedom. It appears that Gabby is one of the island's newest visitors after seeing her struggle through the season to learn what had happened to her sister. Will Zoa get on the ship or turn around and save her sister? Why was a signal sent into space? Will Africa be apprehended and reprimanded? And perhaps most importantly, what is the Eden Foundation really like? We can only hope that season two will provide all of the 
these answers. So are there any trailers available for Welcome to Eden Season 2? Even though Season 2 of Welcome to Eden may have already been confirmed and filmed, we have yet to see any fresh images. We might have to wait a bit since the trailer would be expected in the month before the release. We guarantee to keep you informed. You can re-watch the first season on Netflix until we have additional information to share with you. Moving on, we know some viewers in today's video are wondering if the newcomers managed to escape the island. And that's also a question we've also been asking ourselves. So allow us to share with you what we think happened at the end of the series. Another thing that may be bugging the minds of the viewers is Isaac. Who is he really? We can tell that Astrid and Isaac are already talking to one another by their exchanges and share a certain degree of trust. Only Zoa has been able to view Isaac because he spends the nighttime wandering the Eden and she is unsure of his identity. Isaac does not reside with Astrid and Eric. Since no one else speaks to her after she inquires about if there are kids on the island, Zoa probably believes that Isaac was simply a dream. There is also the amount of technology and monitoring in Isaac's home, along with the drawings and some other toys, indicating that he is, or at least acts, like a child on some level. At his home, he is alone with an older woman, who is likely his caregiver. They are dressed differently than they were at Eden. They utilize dark orange makeup and brows, and they resemble monks more than anything else. We haven't really explored much of the island, and Astrid and Eric have put that exploration under strict restrictions. Are they concerned that someone will locate Isaac? Perhaps the island has further groups that we are unaware of. It is also highly remarkable that such a young child possesses the medical skills to heal Eric. But just at the end of the season, Isaac gets involved in one of the most peculiar scenes. One of the immigrants, Africa, enters Astrid's house and discovers numerous supercomputers working on unidentified projects. She activated a few things at Isaac's apartment by pressing a few buttons. The enormous parabolic dish adjacent to Isaac's house then emits some sort of signal. Why is Isaac so pleased about the signal, and who is getting it? Is it a warning? This episode's most recent event raises a lot of issues and theoretical possibilities. It is clear that the writers of Welcome to Eden drew inspiration from certain actual cults in addition to the many shows that affected the film. Heaven's Gate is undoubtedly the one resembling the Eden cult we observe most on the show. And what does Isaac's presence mean on the island? Bonnie Nettle started the cult Heaven's Gate in 1974, and it gained notoriety after the majority of its members all committed mass suicide. The group's teachings include the notion that extraterrestrial visitors in a spacecraft would transport the followers to another paradise, where they will be able to dwell in peace, much as in a paradise. It is quite similar to how Astrid and Eric portray the island to the new recruits, as a paradise where they dwell despite all the bad things that surround it. The majority of Heaven's Gate members had experienced or are now experiencing guilt, sadness, and other mental illnesses, conditions that rendered them more open to manipulation, exactly how Astrid selects the individuals who will join Eden. What does it all mean then? It may imply that Isaac isn't truly a young child. He does have a large, strangely blue-colored scar on his face. He acts more maturely than a child, and is more intelligent than a child his age could be. Also, did I mention that he's an alien? Is the dish's signal a call to action for his followers? So many questions, but only a few answers. Hopefully, the second season will shed light on these mind-boggling questions. And that's pretty much everything we have so far about Welcome to Eden Season 2. Do you have your own theories about the show? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more videos like these. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.